Welcome everyone, my name is Echo. In today's Minecraft video, we are back with another Minecraft 1.20 snapshot. This is the Minecraft Java snapshot 23W05A. And it includes armor trims for leather. One of the biggest changes in this snapshot is to do with the Create New World screen on Minecraft Java Edition. It has been updated. This seriously gives me old school Minecraft Pocket Edition vibes. So by default, you will start on the game screen where we have world name, so you can change the title. We do have game modes where you can switch this between survival, hardcore, creative, etc. Below that, we have the difficulty. Below that, we have allowed cheats on or off. And obviously, you could then create a new world. Now, after game, we have world options. So inside of here, you can change it from default to super flat large biomes amplified etc then of course you have your seed which you can put inside of here generate structures on or off bonus chest on or off and then create new worlds we then move over to the more screen where you can mess around with of course data packs and remember if you are messing around with 1.20 snapshots you need to enable these features in order for it to be possible it's gonna update with this and lastly we have game rules it's just moved, but this is what the game rules looks like. So the developers did a thing. They made it possible for players to now use trims on leather armor. Honestly, this is one of the coolest features we've had in a long time. Let me explain it. Trims work the exact same on leather armor as they do on iron, chain, gold, diamond, and netherite. Here is all the color combinations and different trims that you can put on leather armor. They look so good. And yes, you can do this on dyed armor. The developers have introduced this with feedback from the community. Now, this is all still a work in progress, but it looks so good. It just gives leather armor another use. And this one definitely looks like something from Minecraft story mode. I absolutely love it. Start by getting yourself some leather armor in a crafting table. You are then going to change the color of this. We are using green in today's video. Now, once you've done that, you are then gonna head over to the smithing table. Start by putting your trim in the first slot and then you can spice it up using any form of color. Remember when it comes to dyeing armor trims, they're used with quartz, netherite, diamond, gold, iron, lapis, redstone, etc. But we're going to be using this one, for example. The color combinations with this are literally going to be endless. It looks so good. Just when you think armor trims can't get any cooler, this is what King B Dogs said. Not explained in the change log, but material on material trims, i.e. diamond trim on diamond chest plate, use different color palettes, so they contrast better with their native material. The reason we didn't have this feature to begin with is because the trims were almost invisible. Now they use a separate color palette. You can nicely see a diamond trim on diamond pieces of armor or iron on iron, netherite on netherite, etc. Armor can now have trims of the same material it's made of. And this is what it looks like when you have diamond on diamond. And I gotta show you, it just stands out really, really well. So we'll put this on right now. Check this out, diamond on diamond. So you can now have the ultimate flex of putting netherite on top of netherite. And that's what we're gonna do. All right, this time we're gonna switch up the templates. We're gonna be using the eye armor trim. So netherite plus netherite let's see how this looks it should look a lot better in fact it looks like the netherite is a lot deeper and darker of a color so it stands out so much better this has to be one of the most ultimate flexes now in minecraft like yeah i've got netherite and i put even more netherite on it in this week's snapshots minecraft java edition gets a bedrock parity interacting with armor or elytra items in hands will now swap them with equipped gear it's a bedrock parity so you probably noticed it i've been showing you since the start i wonder if anyone figured out the easter egg so let me explain this because this has only been a bedrock feature so if we were to put armor on here you can see here i'm wearing some fresh armor now just by right clicking you can actually switch these out a different set of armor including the elytra so let's say you've just been flying right 
You're now entering a cave. It's probably a good idea to put your diamond armor on. It's like, all right, I'm in safety. I really like this leather armor. Let's put this on. Let's go and show my friends how cool I look. Once again, you're entering a cave. You can switch it back. Once again, you're taken to the sky. So for anyone who likes to have their chest plates or Elytra in that hot bar, it's going to make life so much easier for you. Instead of having to take it all off and then put it all on. This is something that developers are looking for feedback on. The enchantment glint has been further tweaked to be slower and less visible, but also have more contrast. They have added two new options in accessibility for adjusting the speed and transparency of enchantment glints. So this is what all of your in, all of your armor will look like enchanted leather, chain, gold, uh, diamonds, and netherite. I low-key forgot iron, but these are in fact all chat all enchanted materials. So in your options in accessibility settings, we have glint speed. So you can completely turn this off, right? So now your enchanted armor is just completely static. Some people might like this. I actually like my enchanted armor being quite vibrant. So I'm not 100% happy with this change so far. And I hope they do reconsider it. So if we go into accessibility settings, we put the speed to 100. This is what it looks like with 100 speed. It's very, very fast. But again, I kind of like it. Stands out very well on your leather armor. And I think it also stands out very well on your netherite. But the other option they've introduced is glint strength. Controls how transparent visual glint is on enchanted items. So we both they've both been at 100. I'm going to drop them both down to 50%. Show you guys what they look like. So this is what they look like both at 50%. You can hardly tell they're enchanted. Someone like myself who definitely struggles with colors. This is really, really hard to tell. But you can actually turn off both of them, right? So both, all of these armors are enchanted, but you wouldn't know it because it's off. So, I mean, you could troll your friends with this if they have it off, right? They think you haven't got really strong gear. But yeah, I, I think this still needs to be reworked. I think at 100% on both of them. I think it should be a little bit more vibrant and stand out a little bit more. Um, I think the leather one does, but and, and the netherite. But these three, probably iron. Not so much for someone who's colorblind. And great news. Loot tables for smithing templates have been updated. Let's read the change log. So this is the information we have. The following common armor trims now always generate two templates in chests when found. Dune, Coast, wild and sentry from my understanding the dune one is inside of a uh, desert temple coast i believe is inside of a shipwreck wild is going to be inside of the jungle temple sentry is inside of a pillager outpost it's stated this is to give new players a chance to understand the smithing templates are consumed when used so basically they're saying players are in fact going to use their template and not remember that it can be duplicated. Netherite upgrade smithing templates have been made twice as common. So it says, while we do want netherite upgrades to be more challenging, we felt the previous rates did not encourage further exploration after finding the first netherite upgrade template. So they've made it a little bit more easier to obtain. Number one, eye armor trim is now generated in every stronghold library chest. Let's go and find a stronghold. You might be lucky enough like me and find two of the libraries. So let's see if there's one inside of here. So we have, ah, we do. We have one inside of there. So let's see if we get one inside of this one. We've got another one inside of there. So if we go to this other room, again, they, there should be another one inside of here. There we go. And if we just... Oh, let's see if we can find one inside of here. There we go. We found four in one stronghold. So, yeah. I kind of like that. There should also be a guaranteed two inside of a jungle temple. So, let's see this. This one doesn't have any. So, this one surely has to have two, right? Let's see. In fact, it does. Woodland Mansions now have a greatly increased chance of generating the Vex Armor Trim Smithing Template. It says... Woodland Mansions already have very few chests that utilize loot tables. In unlucky generations, none at all. 
it was too rare to find one of these trims and we won the challenge of getting the vex armor trim to be more about finding the woodland mansion to begin with so just like in my tutorial on how to find them and the best locations to find them i've managed to find one inside of this chest right here so they're going to be more common and for me i've always found them inside of this chest but according to the change log they can generate more frequently and are a lot easier to find across the board smithing templates have been made slightly more common due to the method of crafting copies of templates we want the process of discovering other templates in a structure to feel like the player has just saved seven diamonds if the templates are too rare this situation does not happen as much meaning players will not be encouraged to explore more structures so finding the templates should be a lot more easier. So those were all the changes in the second ever snapshot for 2023 for Minecraft 1.20. Let me know your opinions. Again, this will eventually be coming to Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I think one of the most interesting things that we have to discuss is the Create New Worlds screen. I feel like we're going backwards rather than forwards with this thing. But again, it's subject to change. I'll see you all in the next video. Hey, you can now book me on Cameo. Link is down below.